Now we shall study occipital bone. Os occipitale. Here it is, occipital bone. First and much large part of it is so named squama occipitale. Squama occipitale. Be attentive to this pronunciation. Squama occipitale. Here it is. Squama occipitale. You can recognize that in the outer surface of it we can find a numerous dentate small processes which serves as part of suture, sutura, sutura, sutura serrata. So, we can find these processes as part of sutura serrata for connecting with parietal bone, sutura serrata. Then, very important structure is foramen magnum, foramen magnum, mm -hmm. oh, foramen magnum, here it is, foramen magnum. Then, if we turn to the outer surface, we can find two Condylus occipitalis. Condylus occipitalis. One of them, Condylus occipitale, but two Condylus occipitalis. So, here they are. They serve as a part of junction, part of articulatia, occipita, articulatia, occipita, Atlantis, Atlanto occipitalis, or occipito Atlantis. So, condylus occipitalis is part of the joint articulatia Atlanto occipitalis. Articulatia at Lanto occipitalis. Then we can find very interesting special eminence protuberantia occipitalis externa. Sometimes we can not only to palpate it on the occiput, but in men very often if this man shave his hairs on the head, we can watch it. So this is place for inserting of the muscles and ligaments. Protuberantia 
occipitalis externa. Pro tu de ran ci a. Be attentive to this pronunciation. Pronunciation protuberan ci a. Ci a. Occipitalis. Externus. Ext means abbreviation from externus. From the outer surface. Externus. Protuberance occipitalis externus. And close to it, linea nuhe superior. Linea nuhe superior. Linea nuhe superior. Here it is. Then, very important foramen, which is passes transversely to the axis of the condylus. It names foramen nervi hypoglossi or foramen gypoglossalis. It means the same. It means that this way, a special cranial nerve, nerve number 12, nerve hypoglossus, gloss, nervus hypoglossus, passes through foramen hippo glossalis foramen hippoglossalis it's spread from one side and from another side and very important Incisia, incisura, jugulare, incisura, jugulare, cisura, jugulare, incisura, Jugulare. It's interesting that in this single bone we can find only incisura, incisure. But if we use a common skull, skull we can find here the foramen, foramen jugulare. I hope it's clear that foramen jugulare we can find only on the skull, but on the single bone we can find only incisura jugulare. So, in parenthesis, I can write down foramen, foramen, on the skull. Incisura jugularis on the single bone and foramen jugulare on the skull. And last detail, 
which is important but difficult to demonstration. We can find here a small foramen which pass along the condylus occipitalis. It names foramen condylaris or canalis condylaris. It means that it's quite long and it serves for very small veins which drainage the venous blood from the internal surface of the skull to the external. So, canalis condylaris. For not mis canalis gipaglossalis and canalis condylaris, we can remember the rule canalis condylaris pass passes parallelly to the condylus and uh, canalis gipaglossalis passes perpendicularly to the condylus. So canalis condylaris parallelly to the condylus. Canalis con di la pris. Conali, canalis condylaris. Canalis condylaris. And from another side. Parallelly to the condylus. This way. Parallelly to the condylus. So, the main structures of the occipital bone. 